After SpaceX's Starship's first flight didn't go as planned and ended in a big explosion in April, Musk hinted that they might try again within a month and a half to two months. Although they were hoping to do this during the summer, the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, has thrown a wrench in their plans. The last test launch of Starship happened at SpaceX's testing ground in South Texas. When the rocket exploded, it totally wrecked the launch pad. It spread steel and concrete fragments all over the nearby coastal area. As is normal when things like this happen, the FAA started looking into what went wrong. They're trying to figure out exactly why the accident happened and what SpaceX needs to do to stop it from happening again in the future. On top of the FAA checking things out, NASA and the National Transportation Safety Board are also poking around. They won't stop looking until the FAA is happy with SpaceX's final report, including their plan to fix things. Plus, SpaceX has to actually put those fixes in place before Starship can fly again. After the mishap with the rocket, the FAA decided to halt any more launches for now. They said that SpaceX must first show that they've made the necessary changes to ensure the environment is protected and that future accidents won't put the public at risk. Only then will SpaceX get the go-ahead to proceed. The FAA also stressed that they won't let the rocket fly again until they're sure that nothing connected to the previous accident could put people in danger or break any of the rules in SpaceX's license. SpaceX's plan to develop a new, advanced rocket has run into several obstacles. To begin with, it took a long time for the company to get the FAA's approval. But after the rocket's first launch from the Starbase site near Brownsville, the license was put on hold. Apart from needing the FAA's nod to start testing flights again, SpaceX is also dealing with some legal issues. They've been pulled into a federal lawsuit that questions the FAA's initial backing of the Starship launch project. Environmental and native groups are behind this lawsuit, demanding that the FAA carry out a full-scale environmental impact statement. This could keep the rocket project grounded for quite some time. The ones who filed the lawsuit, including organizations like the Center for Biological Diversity and the American Bird Conservancy, claim that the FAA broke federal laws when they approved the program. They say the FAA didn't properly look at how wildlife could be harmed. They also allege that after SpaceX submitted its environmental assessment, it was told to do more than 75 things to comply with the National Environmental Policy Act. SpaceX has asked the court to step in. Musk says that SpaceX has invested $3 billion in building the Starbase site since 2014. The Starship project's significance is not just for SpaceX. It also has considerable implications for both the non-military and military sectors of the United States in space exploration. In the near future, a version of the Starship spacecraft was chosen to take Artemis astronauts to the Moon's surface for the Artemis III mission, which is set for 2025. Even a single day's delay could mean a lot of money for the project. The launch of the Starship happened five months after NASA tested its very powerful rocket, the Space Launch System, as part of the Artemis program. This program plans to send humans back to the Moon and eventually to Mars. The Space Launch System and the Orion crew capsule have cost NASA 12 years and more than $20 billion. Each launch of the Space Launch System is estimated to cost a huge $4.1 billion. On the other hand, SpaceX estimates that each Starship launch will cost less than $10 million. This could make the Artemis program unnecessary. The private sector space launch industry is growing quickly, but these smaller startups are more of a competition to SpaceX's Falcon 9, not the Starship. The stakes are really high in this industry. We see this with Virgin Orbit, a company that had to file for bankruptcy last year after a test didn't go well. It took years and billions of dollars for the Starship to get to this year's test, and SpaceX has to keep going even after an explosion. SpaceX's biggest competitor, Blue Origin, has already got contracts with the government for launches and should do well with its powerful New Glenn. But New Glenn can only take half of what the Starship can take to orbit. The test of the Starship has effects that are about more than just business. They're also about the relationship between countries. China's space program has been growing really fast, with its Long March 9th rocket being very similar to the Starship. Without the Starship, it's possible that China might be the only one with a reusable, powerful rocket that can quickly take people, goods, and buildings to space and even further. The United States might not have this. If this happens, China would have a big advantage in space. 
Space is becoming more and more important for both the safety of the country and the economy. In just 20 years, China's space program has come a long way. They sent their first astronaut into space in 2003, and they finished building their space station, Tiangong, in 2022. This shows how good China is at space stuff. They also have plans for the future, like building a permanent place for people to live on the moon. They're calling this the International Lunar Research Station, or ILRS, and they're working on it with Russia and other countries. The Lunar Research Station is aimed at competing with NASA's Artemis program, which involves several countries. It's worth noting that China is closely watching the progress of Starship. China is now building its new super-powerful rocket, the Long March 9th. Even though the Starship program is a bit ahead right now, it's clear that China is trying to copy the things that SpaceX has done successfully, and not what NASA's space launch system is doing. At first, the Long March 9th was designed to be used only once. But in November 2022, the designers decided to change it to a version where the first stage can be used again. By March 2023, China announced that it wants the Long March 9th to be fully reusable. This clear copying of the Starship's design that can be used again underlines the importance of the new technology that SpaceX has created and the importance of their continued progress. The progress of Starship shows that it's more than just about technology. It's about making sure the United States stays ahead in exploring and using space. It's also really important that testing continues this year. Each delay could give China the upper hand in the race to dominate space. So it's very important to solve these issues quickly so that SpaceX can start testing again. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.